Hey, you're watching Neil the Nerd in HD, and not just in HD, but in full 1080p HD, which is pretty awesome. Now, I'm sure you all want to know about the trip that I just got back from. You don't? Well, too bad, I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. It will be accompanied by a series of pictures taken with my Canon T2i! Yeah! I have two uber nerdy friends. One of them is a computer nerd, and one is a cinema nerd. Both exceptionally nerdy and perfect for each other in every way. They decided to get hitched, and so they had a wedding in the beautiful chapel at Garvin Woodland Gardens in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Before you start saying stuff like, Neil, this is so lame. You cannot call a Lord of the Rings wedding with the Numa Numa song played at the end, lame, okay? Then being the nerdy party animals we are, we partied for four hours. It was my first real party. Is that bad? When I say real party, I don't mean alcohol and strippers like you were thinking. I mean just having fun with my friends in a party atmosphere. It was a new experience for me, okay? Don't judge me! I did things like actually dance with a female and she said I had pretty good moves. I didn't get a picture of our dance, but you can see my moves here and and here. If you ever want to dance, just, just let me know. I also played a depressed clown for a game. She had three questions before she had to guess, and she got mine in two. Yeah, I guess I'm a, either a good actor or just a depressed clown. Then it was time for the party to be over, so the balloons dropped, and the bride and groom drove away in a carriage with a horse. It was so romantic, you know, for them to drive around in the parking lot. Other than the time I went to the wedding, I spent a lot of time with my grandma. We went out to Applebee's. It was delicious. Oh, so good. So good. It was just a really fun time. I'm just... Ah, oh, I needed a vacation. And now it's time for the uber special question of the day! I've been reading The Fountainhead by Anne Rand recently, and it is... Ugh! Oh, so good! You're totally free to disagree with me, but in my mind, it is by far the best book I've ever read. Here's the idea. I'm thinking about doing a video, or maybe a video series about The Fountainhead and what it means to me. And so I'd like to hear whether this would be interesting to you guys. Leave a text or video response below, and I will talk to you some other time in the future. Whether you loved it or hated it, go rate it and favorite, and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't. And if you already have, you have my utmost gratitude.